You are standing in the 2000 version of the speakeasy. At any moment, I can be raided. At any moment, they can come here and call me a criminal. Do I deserve to be a criminal for my version of pain medication? No. A doctor prescribed me this. It's the last bit of American Enterprise. It's where I can grow, take care of my own, make a little bit of something off of it by providing to other patients, which is legal. I stack no medicine but marijuana and multivitamins. I was taking at one time at least seven pills a day. Neurontin, Vicodin, Vioxx. I don't know what this is. Oh, stool softener because of all the other pills. Much better than, you know, medicinal cannabis. With your mom using medical cannabis, is it a temptation for you to try it? <laughs> About 80 to 85 percent of everybody in the United States of America that uses any form of illicit drug at all uses only marijuana. I looked up at the door, and what came through the door was a man in full SWAT riot gear, helmet, mask, bulletproof vest, assault rifle, while another man was carrying a battering ram. It was just absolute chaos. Facing the carpet, I turned to look behind me to see what was behind me, and there was an officer with an assault rifle pointed at my head. Now that the dispensaries are closed, people like myself, medical marijuana patients, are forced to go to the street to purchase marijuana. The last couple of weeks here in San Diego, we have been delivering to patients who are in desperate need. It got out of hand. Uh, it was nothing but neighborhood drug dealing. I was a co-owner of Co-op San Diego, and the DEA came in and um, took everything that we had. Hey, doctor, can you do something about my searing pain? Well, there is medication, although it's a little controversial. Does it go in the butt? I'm talking about medicinal marijuana. Prescription pot. Texas THC. Look, man, I don't do drugs. If you take a hundred times the dose you would have for therapeutic purposes, you'll sleep for a couple of days and wake up with a tremendous appetite. The equivalent of antidepressants or sleeping pills or narcotic medications, you know, obviously you'd be dead. The federal government is so apoplectic with regard to allowing any leak in the dike whatsoever, any legitimization of marijuana for medical usages, for hemp, or anything else, because they know that as soon as they lose marijuana, they'll lose the entire colossal funding that goes into the war on drugs. I had a chronic pain in my shoulder, and I got a cortisone shot for it. I didn't smoke marijuana. It isn't right that we're being put through this kind of political bullshit. Excuse the language, but it's true. It's already legal. They shut our dispensaries down. So right now it's like the state versus the federal. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to get them back opened up now. And I really appreciate your signature. I have a liver disease. I have cancer. Oh, baby, <laughs> please sign. No, I'm please. game. Okay. I'm a marijuana smoking motherfucker. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You have body aches all the time. Cannabis cutoffs and sorry, it's the same subject. I'm, 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 I may put it on the agenda. I'm just trying to encourage you to make, make it clear on public record that as we're speaking right now, there are several thousand people that are at home suffering from very sick and grave illnesses needlessly, and you're doing nothing about it. Thank you. One of our patients died this morning, so now we do have blood on your hands. If we don't get any reaction, then we're coming with the civil disobedience. <laughs> 